So hey, what's going on, fiends? So, looks like the old Five Nights at Freddy's trailer has finally dropped in about time. They've been talking about this movie, I want to say, since, what, 2018? Um, how many of you remember that train wreck of a movie that is probably one of the worst horror movies I have ever seen, the Banana Splits movie from 2019? Yeah. Did it give you PTSD like it did me? Well, did you know that that movie was actually supposed to be the Five Nights at Freddy's movie until everything fell through? So they decided to use an old dead property from the 60s and 70s called the Banana Splits and turn them into terrible killing machines. And I really they wish they hadn't have done that because that movie was bad. Had some great kills in it, but that movie was just bad. Well, it seems that we have finally, legitimately have a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And they just dropped the teaser the other day. So yes, I'm late to the party on this. But you're still getting a genuine reaction because I have not watched it. I have stayed completely away from it. So, without any further ado, let's watch this teaser for the new and finally in the works to be released on October 27th in theaters and on Peacock, which is for some reason what Blumhouse loves to do now is put their movies in theaters and on a streaming service. But hey, you know, for those that don't like theaters, you get to watch it day one. But uh, back to what I was previously saying. But without any further ado, finally, I know you're like, John, we just want to watch the stupid trailer. Uh, let's watch the trailer. All right. So you know how we roll here on the old Behind the Fiends channel, and I know it's been a minute since I've done an actual trailer reaction, so some of you that's new to the channel may not know. But we have three magic words that we always say before we watch any trailer and react to it. And they go as follows. Lick it. Flick it. And ooh, woo, fluffy robot monsters that kill people scare me. Stick it. That was cheesy. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. If you're watching this video, you're talking in your sleep. It means you've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Hello? We're going to have so much fun together. What likes this? All right, so that was short, sweet, to the point, gave you just enough to make you crave more perfect teaser perfect teaser they've completely captured the aesthetic of the games from the little jingle right before you get the uh, jump scare to um of course the ghost children but i'm i like the fact that if the little kids that were running around in the open area of the woods i don't know if that's the actual um spirits of the children that were um, spoiler alert, if you've never played the games that were killed and uh, their spirits inhabited the animatronics in this pizzeria. But if that is them, I like that they finally given those kids quote unquote a voice, but also what they looked like before they were stuffed into these giant monstrosities. Um... Matthew Lillard's in it. I am a huge Matthew Lillard fan. I think his best work has always been in horror movies. From Scream to 13 Ghost. And now, uh, according to what I've read, he's going to be the main antagonist in this movie. And we all know he can play a pretty good bad guy. So I am very much looking forward to this movie. And the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott Calvin, 
is actually in basically he is where you know everything begins and everything ends in terms of how this movie is going to play out and Blumhouse of course though I've had my disagreements with Blumhouse and I've had my negative thoughts on uh, where they have gone in terms of their horror movies it seems that they're doing this one right now I could be wrong I mean we got a teaser trailer that was under a minute long and it this could be just downright trash but I can't see Scott Calvin being as involved in this project as he is allowing that to happen this guy he is pretty protective of his uh, of his baby as he should be um the animatronics all look great but of course it's Jim Henson's creature shop so they don't do shoddy work over there but other than that man uh, I am totally down and looking forward to this I love the games I love the lore and everything if you've never read the novels uh, Silver Eyes and the um it's the something ones but anyway it expands on the lore of the games um read those novels they are excellent they also are in audiobook form as well but uh yeah i i am totally down for this can't wait for it october 27th peacock and in theaters this one i would say you might want to actually go to the theater and watch unless you just don't like to go to the theater and hey just crank it up on old uh peacock and have a fun little ride at a uh chuck e cheese from hell but anyway guys y'all let me know down here in the comments below are you looking forward to this movie like me and also if you would please hit that subscribe button i do that notification bell and as always this has been your old buddy john and i will see you again next time Ooh.